Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. For those of you who are new, my name is Lynette. Early on in my YouTube career, I created a nine things I no longer buy video and it has been a hot minute, so I thought I would do a second video. Everything that I'm sharing with you are low waste, zero waste alternatives. I'll have all of these items linked down in the description box, so be sure to peruse down there if you're interested in perhaps switching to any of these reusable items. If you're anything like me, I used to love Swifter products. I'm talking about the mop heads and the dusters that were disposable, but now I just use reusable Swifter duster heads. The replacements for Swifter dusters are pretty expensive, so this is a great way that I'm able to save money, and all I do is wash my reusable Swifter dusters after they have been used. It's a really great low waste, or I should say no waste way to dust your home. Another thing we no longer buy are paper towels. We use paperless towels, so basically it's just a cloth towel that we treat as a paper towel. And once we're done with using it, we simply put it in the wash and it's good to be reused. We also no longer purchase baby wipes. We use reusable cloth wipes. Now we have a whole system on how we use our cloth wipes as well as our cloth diapers. So if you're interested in any of that, I will have the cloth diaper videos linked up in the cards as well as in the description box. So I have two different cloth diapering videos uh, for you if you are interested. I no longer purchase disposable razors. I actually use a safety razor which not gonna lie was super intimidating when I first switched over but I have to admit I've had the best shave of my life now that I've switched to a safety razor I actually get way less uh, ingrown hairs as well as razor burns which I struggled with for years basically the way that this works is you keep the body of the razor inside is the blade and uh, you recycle the blade when you're done with it and that is literally it it's so simple Another thing that you can no longer buy uh, in packaging is body wash I'm very fortunate to have access to a local soap shop so I always purchase my body soaps from them and uh, they don't come in any packaging which is fantastic. I suggest trying to find soap that comes in paper packaging or like a little cardboard box that can be easily recycled or even composted uh, depending on the type of paper. And I feel like there's so many varieties and options with bar soaps as well. So I have in no way felt uh, deprived when it comes to my body wash. So this one is for the ladies out there and I'm sure all of you have heard of this but I no longer purchase tampons and instead I use a menstrual cup. I have only ever tried the Diva Cup brand. I love it. And it definitely does take some getting used to. You have to learn the proper fold to be able to insert it. And you have to be able to make sure that it's properly sealed to your cervix. I believe that's how it works. Um, so that there is no leaking. Don't be intimidated by it. It took me a while, <laughs> like probably, I would say at least like six months to really get uh, familiar with the Diva Cup. Now I absolutely love it and I just don't need tampons anymore. One great thing I really love about the Diva Cup on top of everything else is that I don't have to worry about a string uh, poking out of my bathing suit when I'm at the beach. Just saying. The next thing that we don't buy for our home any longer are dryer sheets. We actually use reusable wool balls. I love that they're so natural. But I also love that you can scent your clothing. All you have to do is put a couple drops of essential oils and then throw them into the dryer and voila, you have beautifully scented clothes that are scented all naturally and you can keep reusing these. But if you are perhaps against any type of animal like products, then there are plastic uh, laundry balls that you can purchase. Aside from not repurchasing the Swifter Duster heads, like I mentioned earlier, I also stopped using a Swifter mop and the like wipe things that you would attach to the mops. I forget what they're called. I think people like them for the cleanliness factor, which I did for a very long time, but now I just have a reusable mop head. I'm able to fill the bottle with my own cleaning solution, so I do have my own DIY cleaning solution, and then the actual um, head of the mop is washable. So there are lots of different mops that kind of have this feature of having a washable head. And I've had this mop now, I think for over three years. I love that I've never had to produce any waste from using it. 
Let me know down in the comments what some of your favorite swaps have been, what are some things that you no longer buy, or what are some things that you're perhaps thinking that you want to switch over to. I'd love to hear from you. If you liked this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more content like this. I will catch you in the next one. Bye.